So in today's session, we'll see how we can fix that like this exception. So manually, so generally in the real time, we may have the very few options, like very few chances where we have to fix that like this invoice manually, but generally it happens automatically. Okay. But this is something, you know, like uh, com it is completely like relevant to the financial activity. So that Ariba has given lots of conditions that we can utilize those conditions to recon to just uh, validate the information from the invoice against purchase order or the receiving. Okay. So we'll see how we have to fix this exception. So for that, we have to simply open this uh, reconciliation document number. And this is something uh, we already dis already discussed in our previous session. Like we will see this two tab. One is assigned to me. Second one is the all exception. So it depends on the authorization. So in certain case, if the user they will have the authorization to fix this exception. So in that case, he will see all the exceptions is assigned to me. But in certain case, if they may they may not have that authorization to fix this exception. So they may see that in they may not see any information in assigned to me and they can see all the information in the all exceptions only so both the tabs containing some information and only that it depends on the authorization so as we seen that like we have three invoice exception like, so, sorry three is exceptions are there in this invoice like one is the quantity amount something and uh, variation in the quantity variation in the quantity again and some of the tax variance so what we have to do if we have to fix this exception so we have to click on the edit and once we click on the edit the system will give these options to us to action menu and we have to go in the action menu so as you discussed like we will have the three options to like uh, fix this exception either we can use accept expected quantity or we can use manual manual match options or we can defer to someone else so basically when we click on this defer to someone else the system will give the options to like uh, like defer someone like uh, let's assume that we are new or we are only that you know that, that like uh, that a junior level in the like accounts team and we do not have the authorization or might be i can we do, we cannot understand like what what are these exceptions and we would like to refer someone like some senior people in that case we can use this defer to someone else so once you click on this defer to someone else, the system will give you the options to select some user. And that, that means to which from like to which user you would like to send this like uh, exception, like to fix this exception. So if you click on this drop down, so we'll have the different like uh, that user ID, we can select that particular user ID and we can simply just defer or we can refer this exception to them. Okay, so this is one case. Second case is that like uh, the second option is that like manual match. So manual match is applicable in certain case might be, you know, sometimes that uh, that they may like purchase some product and they have not met the payment. And uh, this time they receive the invoice as and they have like they have just committed to the vendor that in next uh, payment will pay this like uh, amount to you again to you so that's something in that case they can simply just click on the manual match so in that case they have to match it manually so how we have to perform the manual match so let me click on this manual match here and once we click on the manual match system will give this screen here so here we can see we have the two options one is the invoice line item and second one is the order order line item that's something system is showing like how many like what is the quantity in the our invoice and what is the quantity in the, our purchase order so accordingly since we are going to match so we have to simply use these options to match okay so we can see in the first line that we have the invoice line item so in the invoice line item that we have the quantity six and we have this price same way if you see in the order line item so we have the quantity five and the price something is the, like uh, something different okay so what we have to do we if we have to like match it manually so we can see we in the both the line item we have the options of this edit edit so edit edit in the sense we are not going to edit like any PO quantity or any you know this invoice quantity so only we are just matching manually okay so for that we have to click on the edit so let me click on the edit and we can click on the edit any of the line item it does not matter like if you click on the invoice line item or if you click on the PO line or PO line item, 
it does not matter we can click anywhere so let me click on this pol and item edit 